If you've been looking around for a sleek and stylish everyday carry sling bag that doesn't break the bank, then you're gonna wanna stick around and see what I have for you today. All right, before we get started, as usual with this type of video, I do wanna say that Inatech did send me this bag for free, but no money changed hands. They did not pay me to give them a positive review, and I'll do my absolute best to give my honest opinion. The first thing that we have to talk about with this bag is the price, because it's a little insane. So at the time of making this video, this bag is selling on Amazon for $46.99 US with a 25% discount which means that you're gonna pay a little under $36 US before tax, which is crazy. So be sure to keep that in mind when you're watching the rest of this video. The bag has a very clean, sleek look and feel, and this front panel is made out of a PU-like material that makes it look very modern and also makes it water resistant. As someone who's almost always dressed in all black, I really appreciate this strip of 3M reflective material that they added to the front of the bag, so I don't get hit by a car or a bus when I'm walking down the street at night. Now if we flip the bag over, the back of the bag is made out of a 900D polyester, which is really strong and tear resistant. YKK zippers are used all around, so you know that they're high quality. Now I've been testing this bag for a few weeks now, and it still looks brand new, and it feels super high quality, so I'd say it definitely punches above its weight class. It definitely doesn't feel like a $36 bag. Now one thing that I was really happy to see with this bag, and it's something that you typically only see on higher end bags, is this locking and adjustment mechanism. So what you do is you pull this little tab up and it unlocks, then you can adjust your strap to whatever length that you like, and then lock it back down. Now this looks very similar to what you'd see on Peak Design strap, but don't be fooled. The Peak Design system is actually completely different. That little handle that you pop up, is just a handle, it's not a lock at all. The Peak Design System relies purely on friction and tension to keep your strap adjusted. So, if you've ever picked up your Peak Design bag and it's been lying around with no tension on it and your strap is out of adjustment, you're like, why the heck is my strap weird? a weird length? You know why. This bag, though, has a locking adjustment system. It actually mechanically locks so you know your strap is always gonna be in the same position as you left it, which is awesome. And like I said, I typically only see this on higher end bags, definitely not in bags under 50 bucks. So that's a huge plus for me. While we're talking about the strap, I should also mention that there is a Duraflex quick release buckle here. If you don't know, Duraflex makes really high quality stuff, so you can be sure that this buckle will last. All right, now coming around to the front of the bag, there's a pocket up front, a nice diagonal cut, which I think makes the bag look interesting. Definitely different than everything else out there. So it has this diagonal cut pocket, and inside you can see that the pocket is lined in this nice light color material for high visibility. Inside we have a pouch here for whatever you wanna put, probably fit a wallet, maybe a battery pack, something like that, some cards, passport. Um, we also have a swivel hook here for attaching your keys if you want to do that. Again, YKK zippers with the zipper pulls. Now coming around to the, let, let's actually flip to the back of the bag. Now the back of the bag, like I said, 900D polyester back here, another YKK zipper. Let's open this guy up. And again, same high visibility interior. And what, we, what you see here are three card slots. So, you know, obviously they thought about this and the side of the bag facing you is gonna be the most secure and they figured that's the most likely pay, place for you to put your cards and that's why they put card slots here. So that's nice, a nice touch, good size pocket. Now, one of the coolest things with this bag and I haven't seen this on any other bags, especially in this price point, is that it has a water bottle or umbrella slot. So if you come over here to the side, you can open this guy up and you can slide a water bottle 
into this pocket here. And the nice thing is, is that the backside, you can't, you can't get through because there's this mesh here. So you, if you put your water bottle in there, you don't have to worry about it just shee, falling right out the back. And then once you got your stuff in there, you can cinch it up. Now I think that is so cool. I've never seen that in another bag, especially in this price point. And that's a huge plus for me. And I'll show you why. When, if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'm just gonna gather up a whole bunch of stuff that I normally take out and I'll try to just see how much stuff I can fit in here. Um, but I've already done this. Like I said, I've been using this for a few weeks now. So I know that there's some very useful things that fit in here. One, a water bottle. Um, I live in California, so an umbrella doesn't really pertain to me. It doesn't really rain here very often. But sometimes when I go out shooting at night, I will bring a really light windbreaker and that actually fits in that pocket nicely. So that pocket is super useful and I love it. And that's probably one of the main reasons why I recommend this bag. It's really, really cool. All right, so moving on. Moving on to the main pocket here. Again, we got dual YKK zippers on this one. So that way, if you're a lefty or a righty, you can kind of customize which side, which way you want this thing to open and close. So opening it up, you'll see that this bag is divided mainly into two main compartments and they're about the length of a switch. So there's one main compartment and there's a divider dividing that compartment from the other main compartment. And on that divider, it's a padded divider, there are four elastic straps here for things like, well, I'm a, I'm a photographer, so camera batteries, cables, things like that. Maybe um, switch games could fit in there, stuff like that. And then you have the middle main compartment there, which you could potentially fit another switch. But like I said, I'll, I'll go through all that at the end and try to pack this thing out. And then we have two mesh pouches on the front side of the bag. And then behind that, two more regular pouches. And then there's another zippered pouch inside. So really cool, again, that nice high visibility, light colored interior, really nice. And one thing I do wanna mention with this bag as well is that with other bags in this price point, I've seen a major lack of padding and it, it's kind of concerning. I wouldn't really wanna carry a camera or a switch in there because there's not sufficient padding to protect it from any bumps or if I drop the bag or something, but this one, has a good deal of padding. I have no concerns about sticking my electronics in here and then being safe. So, really cool. I mean, you can tell that the bag has some structure because of that padding. It stands up on its own, which is nice. All right, so it's that time. I've gathered up some stuff that I might typically take with me on like a street photography day or a day out with the family. Um, I would typically just bring one camera, one lens, this is my Sony a7C Mark I with a 40 millimeter f2.5 G lens. Let's just see if all of this stuff fits. I haven't tried this configuration yet, so let's do it. I'm going to expand out these stra side straps for now. Look at that, it fits. <laughs> wow, okay. That is really good to know, so. The next thing I would need is my strap. Of course, this would probably be attached to my camera already, but let's just say I didn't do that. So that would go in there. I could take my SD cards and put them in this mesh pouch right there. That is cool. My filters, this other mesh pouch is perfectly suited for that. So in the back, okay, if I didn't want if I had more cards than what my wallet could carry, I could put these three credit cards right back here in their designated slots, just like that. And let's say, oh, I don't want someone to steal my wallet. I don't know why I'd have a wallet and separate cards, but hey, you guys get it. All right, now I want quick access to my flashlight. So maybe I'd put that guy up front here. My uh, Microtech UTX-70 California legal switchblade out the front. Check it out. AirPods, 
I need my AirPods all the time, super fast. Let's put those up front. Cleaning cloth, I don't really need too often, so I'm gonna put that right here in the back. Excedrin, that will actually fit in here as well. AirTag, I usually like to hide this as best I can, but there's not really any hidden pockets, so we'll just throw it up front. That one's getting pretty full. Oh, chapstick, I need to get to very often too. I don't need to get to my flashlight very often, so let's put that one back here. Oh, I got the perfect spot. The elastic section, that works well. And the pens actually would work well in that elastic section as well. All right, let's see if it zips up. Nice. This is a totally, totally viable EDC street photography kit right here. That's crazy. I'm gonna break this one down and let's try a few more configurations because I know not everyone watching this might be photographers. You guys might care about some other stuff. So let me go grab some other things and see how they fit in here. All right, so I'm back with some stuff here for my non-photographers watching uh, a more typical EDC setup. Um, I'm not a big gamer, but I know some of you guys are, so that's why I brought the switches here. These are my kids. That's why they're all filthy. So let's just go through this and see what we can pack in here. So let's start off with the one, the full-size switch. And obviously that guy fits in perfectly right into the designated slot that it was designed for. I need charging cables. So here's a, um, here's a C to C cable and I'll put that right in the elastic strap right there. Now I am an iPhone user. I don't have a 15 yet. I have, I'm still on the 14 max. So I have a lightning cable still, so I can't just use one cable and that will go right in here. Perfect. Again, I'm going to bring the same flashlight that will go right there in that pouch and my ZT 450, which is my favorite knife ever. I'm going to bring that one right there. So guys, can you see that? Check it out. Fits nicely. Now the pens, I can just drop anywhere. It doesn't really matter. I don't need the pens very often, so I'm gonna put them back here in that pouch. Chapstick, I need all the time, so I'm gonna put that in the front. AirTag again, I'm gonna drop in this little pouch in the front. AirPods, I always need those. Excedrin, I'm gonna drop that. Let's see, I can drop that in one of these pouches here, I suppose. My phone, let's see, where would I wanna put my phone? Probably in the middle of this main compartment so I can get to it fast. Again, I have the Dango wallet right here. Now I can put these credit cards in here just like before, one, two, three. So you can see that would be like a typical EDC setup. Um, if you don't, if you're like me and you're not really a gamer and you don't bring the switch, obviously you're gonna have a lot more space in here for just everyday EDC type of stuff. Um, but now let's say, oh actually, you know what? Let's see if the water bottle fits with this type of loadout. So let me loosen up these straps. And then I got a, just a standard water bottle here. Check it out. Fits with the water bottle in there, which is awesome. Like I said, this is one of the best things about this bag is that I can bring a water bottle or a jacket. I'm guessing that my Windbreaker will fit in this configuration. So let's try the windbreaker really quick. Sorry, let me roll it back up again really quick. Yeah, 
And it does. It fits. So check it out. I got everything I would ever need all day. Even got a light jacket for those um, cool nights in California. Very cool. So now say you know that you're an extreme gamer and I don't know. Um, actually, this is not too far fetched for me. Say both my kids want me to carry their switches around for whatever reason. That's why I brought the switch light. So this is my other son's switch light. And let's see if I can just fit two switches in here. No problem. Switch one, this is the full size original switch. And here we have a switch light. I, th I, didn't even, I don't even think I needed to take this stuff out. I think it would have fit anyway. But actually, let me flip it around. So I don't want to damage the screen by having my knife or flashlight knock into it. So let's flip that stuff around and then put this stuff back in there. Easy. I can even throw my Excedrin in there. And let's see if the water bottle still fits with two switches. And it does. I could probably even snake my phone back here if I really try hard. I might have to take the wallet out and put it somewhere else. Phone fits in there still. I bet I can get my wallet up here. Obviously this wouldn't be the ideal place to put your wallet in the front pouch. But just to show you guys how much stuff fits in here, I'm sure the wallet will actually fit in the main pouch still, but I still got everything in there. Now, I just wanna say that it's not packed to the max, so you can actually fit more stuff in here than what I did. All that fit into this little bag that you can get for $36, which is insane to me. Crazy. All right, so if you've made it this far, then everything seems pretty good, right? Well, there are a few things that I don't like about the bag, so let me go through them right now. Number one are the zippers. Now I know that I said that they're YKK and they're really high quality, which is true. However, the, the zippers are not weather sealed. So at the front of the bag, you have this kind of valley, this lip there where if you were to spill water on this thing, the water will just pool up inside that little valley and seep down into the zipper. And same for the top. You don't have the valley, but the zipper is fully exposed and if you brought a switch or your camera, it's right under the zipper. So that is a concern. Um, not personally for me though, because like I said before, I live in California, it doesn't rain a lot and I'm not out in the rain hardly ever. So that's not a concern for me, but I know a lot of you do live in rainy climates. So keep that in mind. The second thing that I don't like about this bag is the placement of this quick release buckle. So let me show you. So as you can see, if you're a left shoulder front carry type of person, it's gonna put the quick release buckle right up by your collarbone and shoulder, which is not the best. I think it's, it's totally doable, especially for the price point. I think I, I can deal with it, but it's not ideal. I, I wish that the buckle was in a different spot. Uh, however, if you wear the bag on the back and you're a left shoulder person, then you're totally fine because the quick release buckle now moves down by your waist. So this configuration is totally fine. Now, if you're a right shoulder carry type of person, then your problem just switched, right? So if you wear it in the front, you're okay because now the buckle is down by your waist. However, if you if you switch it to the back, now you have the opposite problem. Now you have the buckle up by your right collarbone and right shoulder, which is not ideal. And your adjustment buckle is upside down if you're a right shoulder person. Um, this feels really weird because I've always been a left shoulder person. <laughs> now the third issue that I have with this bag is that now I know that this is probably not fair for me to complain about with a bag in this price point, but I'm going to say it anyway. So the, where the buckle attaches here, it doesn't swivel like on a peak design bag or if this bag had re removable straps where the, the strap can adjust to the angle of your body which makes the bags a lot more comfortable and it also prevents them from like pulling in weird ways and changing how the bag looks. So I really wish that the strap 
was, I guess if the strap was removable, it would have solved this problem and it also would have solved the previous problem. So if you're a left shoulder, a left shoulder or a right shoulder type of person, you could switch the strap around to um, however you like it. So despite me having those small complaints with this bag, I do think that this is overall the best EDC sling bag that you can get for under $40 or even $50 for that matter. I think that the sleek design, the modern look, the, the features, the organization, and how much stuff you can fit in this, I think all of that greatly outweighs the negatives that I called out. All right, well, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll be sure to leave links to this bag down in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. If this is your first time here, my name is Matt and I make videos about photography, video, I do reviews, all kinds of good stuff. So if you don't wanna miss out on any of my future videos, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Again, my name is Matt and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.